Okay, how's it going guys? Connorist here. Welcome back to some more Pokemon Soul Stones. Last time things happened, this time more things are gonna happen. So we're currently here. The uh, Watcher guy we were looking for turned out to be not the Watcher guy, but instead the leader of the, uh, the revolution thing. And uh, yeah, he's like, oh, you guys are my best recruits, you know? You remember me? No? Okay, well follow me to the basement. <laughs> See if you remember me there. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. We're going to go to the basement and see what's going on. My team is still injured, aren't they? Yes, they are. Can I heal? Will this thing heal me? It will. Oh, how'd they all get here before me, dude? None of them were moving. I'm going to look around a bit. Oh, I found a Breloom. Mark, I should have assumed I would find you here. What with Ezreal being from 3564... Uh, negatory. Ezreal's presence in this location is happenstance with that of my own. Berlum 9000 Terminal does not choose its location. My AI has placed me here for a number of reasons, none of which I am permitted to disclose to you. A likely story. What's that? Alakazite. Alright, we got some Alakazite. Nice. Love me some Alakazite. Okay, well, that's it. We got Alakazite and a Breloom. Fantastic. I swear, dude, I'm going to finish this game and I'm going to miss, like, one or two Breloom, and it's going to piss me off. All right, Ezreal, time for you to talk. Very well. What do you want to discuss? That's a lot, dude. Oh, my God. The protocols, the directors, just start at the top, dude. What are these protocols you were talking about earlier? The mind link, sanitization, and warping protocol. One of my first creations was the sanitization protocol. It was originally designed to cleanse our people of ailments using nanotechnologies. It was able to mend flesh rooms as well as cleanse internal ailments such as schizophrenia or memory loss. The Republicans scientists latched onto the potential of the technology to wipe memories and perverted it to be used to cleanse a person and allow them to indoctrinate the blank slate with their own beliefs, reshape them into devoted soldiers, etc. The warping protocol is my next one. It allowed people to transfer their consciousness into another body. It effectively allowed them to be immortal. Your body may have withered as you aged, or perhaps you had a tragic accident, but you're able to transfer your consciousness into a new body. The sanitization protocol used with the warping protocol allowed our people to live long, healthy lives. What I did not intend was for this technology to be used to overwrite the consciousness of another against their will. The agency began to use this protocol to expunge whom they viewed as hardened criminals from our society. The process of overwriting is exceptionally painful to the consciousness that has been overwritten. A very cruel fate, and worst of all, the Republicans began to use that to eliminate their political opposition. Soon, they became unrivaled and were able to seize absolute control over society and the government. Last, the most dangerous of them all was the Mind Link Protocol. I realized the danger of this technology and sought to destroy it almost immediately. What was the Mind Link Protocol designed to do? It was sort of communal it was a sort of communal hive mind. It allowed citizens to connect into the technology to tap into the skills and knowledge of the entire society. It could effectively become omniscient. It never ended up being fully functional, but when I envisioned the concept, the process was intended to be voluntary. I'll leave it to your imagination as to what the Republicans wanted to do with that technology. Okay, uh, the director. One of my flashbacks I had I saw this individual. I think we referred to him as the director. Who is this person? The head of the agency. When the Republicans seized control of the government, they appointed Alistair Van Basten as the director of the agency. The man who you would have seen from your flashbacks. He was responsible for turning the agency into a secret group of police and enforcers that used the technology I had developed to realize the vision of the Republican government. He is your stereotypical mad scientist, a truly evil man that saw the potential of the technology that I developed and sought to pervert them to the Republicans' vision. He was exceptionally cruel to the agency's prisoners. Nothing was too much for him. I myself was tortured by him for several weeks until I escaped. 
That's when I founded the Argent Revolution, a group of like-minded Epoch citizens that wanted to wrest control away from the Republicans and turn it to the people. Okay. Uh, I, don't, I don't even think I want to know about this. Why this timeline? Locations, the Soul Keepers. Go, why this timeline? Why'd you escape to this timeline? I knew we needed power. I had read of the fabled Soul Keepers, champions of virtue that had partnered with mythical Pokemon to banish an ancient evil. I came here to find them and convince them to come back with me to the future to take on the Republic and take back our home. Our people needed leadership. They needed inspiration. Having these paragons on our side would have been a significant boon for our rebellion. And not to mention the power of the mythical Pokemon. So this is how the Soul Keepers fit in. You're trying to unify them to turn them into soldiers to overthrow the Republican government from the future. Yes, but there is one thing I did not anticipate when I traveled to this timeline, though. The Watchers and the Shadow Council. It was just my luck that I warped myself into the body of a dying Watcher. For whatever reason, this particular Watcher was separated from Zerus. I don't know why, but all I know is that he was being hunted by Zerus too. Seems like they may have had a falling apart before my consciousness took over this host body. Thus, not only have I been trying to concurrently track down the Soul Keepers, I've also been fleeing the Wrath of Zerus. It's a double-edged sword because the Soul Stones emit these bloody infrared signatures, which act as a damned beacon, attracting the attention of the Watchers from all around a 10-mile radius. I have to sleep with one eye open. Not only that, the Agency has clued in on those signatures too. And there's this creature, this Fallen One, that was locked away by their Soul Stones. When I read of the Soul Keepers, I assumed Banished meant that there was no coming back for that creature that was banished a long time ago. I came to this timeline hoping to find champions to pursue our resistance forward. Instead, I have been a fool and may have bolstered the return of another evil. One that I am certain the Agency has learned if the Agency learns about, will attempt to capture it and slay for their own purposes. Damn. <laughs> oh, man. You said you knew the location of other Soul Keepers. Or some of them, at least. Sirius City is the next destination, Mark. Sirius City? Mark, Sienna's on her way there, and with Pierre, too. Who is Sienna? Another Soul Keeper. <laughs> for God's sake, Mark! How many Soul Keepers have you met and not told us about? Wait, right. You're keeping secrets from us and the Agency. Got it. Never mind. <laughs> My children, you must not fight between yourselves. The important thing you need to know is that Christina, the mayor of Cirrus City, is the guardian of the Argent Soul. Okay. Uh, I think that's it. I think we're good. Let's go to go to next steps. What are our next steps? We must find the other Soul Keepers. The mayor of Cirrus City, Christina, is the next target. It is the best that we stay apart, though. We cannot let either the Agency or Zerus and his lackeys get us all. So we'll need to divide and conquer. There are four remaining Soul Keepers to be accounted for. Mark can choose to pair up with one of us. Oh, great. No. While I agree we should split up to each find a Soul Keeper, I think we should travel in pairs for protection. But if they find us, they will not be so much better off. They'll have gotten two birds with one stone. Only if we're stupid in a way we pair up. Aki and myself can pair up. I don't trust that at all, because I don't trust Kara yet. At least this Kara. Who's to say she doesn't just kidnap Aki and take him to the agency? Uh, from the agency's perspective, they think I've been tracking down a Watcher. If I report back that I was wrong about finding a Watcher, like, I think the best scenario would be either us and Aki, or Rhea and Aki, and then the other go with Kara. That would be the best situation. Probably, I actually prefer probably me and Aki, since I kind of trust Rhea, but not completely. They will focus their attention elsewhere. I have the security clearance that they trust me at my word. If we run into Zerus, I can protect Aki. Uh, I'm the best battler here, so I think I have the best chance of protecting Aki. I do not trust this plan at all. Can I, can I veto? Likewise, we're Rhea can escort you, Ezreal. As far as I know, Zerus and the Shadow Council are not aware of the Agency, so would not think anything was out of the ordinary if they found the both of you together. Rhea could protect Ezreal from Zerus if it came down to it. So what about me? Who am I protecting? 
Hold on, though. Soul Keepers can't be together in the same room, though. If they are, we set off a huge beacon that'll definitely attract the attention of all the Watchers and the Shadow Council within a 10-mile radius. I can come with you to help finding the other Soul Keepers, Kara, but I can't confront them with you. If I do, I empower our enemy and can endanger you. That's a risk I'm willing to take, though. Time is of the essence, and while this approach slows our progress, it gives us the time to figure out a plan on what we're doing until... Uh, what we're doing... What we do when we unify all the Soul Keepers. It's not ideal. There's going to be trade-offs in this. We can be more efficient if we search together and have the backs of one another. Based on what Aki said, we can only bring them all together when we have a plan detailed out anyway. Otherwise, we jeopardize all our safety. Why? Who am I protecting? Am I going alone? Am I gonna have? To, am I gonna be the one to go find the mayor? I don't. I don't get this plan at all, dude. I don't trust Kara at all. At least right now. Like I don't trust her going with Aki. I swear she's gonna kidnap him and take him to the agency. I agree with your plan, my child. Mark, you're strong enough to hold your own. I'm also strong enough to protect somebody. <laughs> like if I'm the strongest, I should. You know, be one, be somebody to protect. I should be there to protect one of them. However, you will need all the help you can get to fend off your enemies and your travels. This is a gift that I have given to all the disciples of the Argent Revolution. I'm a mega ring, mega B drill. Here we come, dude. Now, with that mega ring in your possession, if you have the right mega stone, you can now mega evolve your Pokemon. I also need to get Spencer off Mark and Reyes' tail to avoid arousing suspicion. I'm authorized to grant the both of you clearance level 4 if you have that now. It demonstrates to the agency that they can trust you more. Okay, sick. The cap's already at 80, dude? We're, our Pokemon aren't even like 60% of the way to 80. Damn. Okay. If any other bureaucrats challenge me on granting you that clearance level, I can say that you and Rhea earned it for helping me on my mission about trying to track down the Watcher. Which ultimately did not plan out, or pan out, but it shows dedication to the mission. A good plan, Kara. I will eventually need to report back to Spencer to avoid arousing suspicion anyway. Well, everyone, seems we have our mission. Let's get moving, then. I still don't trust Kara, and I only half trust Rhea. Dude. This is not a good plan. Before we leave anywhere, though, I am giving you your Megastone. You've earned it, buddy. If I can find it. I sold a couple of these because I didn't need them. All the non-epoch ones I sold. There it is. There it is. Oh, yes. I can't wait to see it, dude. And I think I also have the one for you. I think I have epoch Gyaradosite. Maybe? Do I have epoch Gyaradosite? I have Rapidashinite. Epoch. I have E Venusaurite. Oh no, it was Giganite. I have Epoch Giganite for the Gigalith. That's what I had. And I have regular Machampite, Giganite. I think I got a normal Gyaradosite, but not Epoch Gyaradosite. Okay. I completely forgot where I got the Link Stone, but I may go back and actually just grab Gigalith just so I can use its Mega. And, you know, put Pixie away. I don't know. I'm thinking about it. I don't remember where I got my Link Stone, though. I have to try to find out where I got that from. Anyways, uh, you now have that. I'm putting you out front because I want to try to use it right away. And, yeah. Let's go ahead and uh, go. I don't know what the plan is now. Like, what's the plan? Do we have to go to the city that they were talking about? Probably. Do I got to walk out of here, dude? I don't even know what city they told us to go to. I don't even know the way out of here, dude. I'm gonna I'm gonna get so lost. Oh no. Dude, I'm gonna be it's so lost. Can I fly or something? <laughs> dude, I don't like this one bit. Can I escape rope out of here? I don't like this one bit. Do I have an escape rope? Ah, oh, no. Ah, oh, no. Okay, I'm going to cut here so it doesn't take me 30 minutes to get out of this jungle. I'll see you guys when we're out of here.
Okay, on my way out, I found a shift tree. And it said the shift tree was looking at some glowing stones or whatever. And then it got scared, and then it got called for and then called for help. So I wasn't originally gonna show this, but I wanna check out Mega Beedrill. <laughs> oh my god. It looks a lot smaller, but I need to I need to look at the uh the summary for this guy just to get a good look at it. This thing's level 60, damn. Oh my god, look at that thing, dude. Oh my. Okay, its ability changes from sniper to adaptability. Damage bonus for same type moves is doubled. Look at that special attack, 213. <laughs> Jesus. Alrighty then, dude. Bug buzz away. Mega Beedrill. Buzz buzz, dude. Holy. Yes, indeed. I can eat that. Even though my physical defense ain't great, I'm eating it. Dude, can you stop sucker punching me? I'm getting annoyed. I'm just trying to attack you and your kin. If I get another sucker punch, I'm going down, so I gotta heal. I'm going down if they sucker punch me again. He went for nature power. And it's try attack. I'm eating that up, dude. Oh my god. I'm very much a fan of Mega Beedrill. Very much a fan. Mega E Beedrill. I should say. Whimpers in defeat. Three Link Stones! Speaking of the Link Stone, dude, we just got three of them. Holy shit. Alright, I guess I might actually use Mega Gigalith. Anyways, uh, I just cut so I can show you guys that. I'm going to go make my way back out of here. See you in a bit. Alright, we made it. And uh, let's talk to this guy, because we helped his kin. Thank you for your service to my tribe, human. We sustained a great loss today, but it was a necessary one. I hope we can go back to understand what caused the unrest in the first place, and learn from our errors. I got Explaudenite. Shucka berries. I don't know what those do. Okay. Chopal berries. All right. Uh, what other quests do we have? We have nine. Jesus. Okay, I I know about the reindeer. I know about the Lickitung. I know about the lost glasses. Did I not get my reward for this? I guess I didn't. I know I have that. Palpitoad prank. What was this again? Oh, retrieve a spell from Vegas City that turns her. Okay. So we have to go to Vegas City, which we have not been to yet. Genetically modified potions. Okay. All right. Let's see, we have a lot of side quests that we can do. A lot of them I can finish right now. I just, like some of them I've already finished. I just need to collect my reward. And some I can finish, but I just haven't. All right. Uh, what do I do? I don't even know where we need to go, but I'm going to try to... F I think two quests, like this Lilies and the... Uh... No, you're not the one that... It's the one with the Lilies and the one who wanted, like, the wing, the Yanma wings, the freaking Palpatoad tongue and the Arbok tail. You, you wanted that stuff. Five ethers. Okay. Five elixirs. Damn. A PP max. Sick. And where was the guy who wanted the uh, the uh, the lilies? Who wanted the lilies? 
This is the massage place. Who wanted these god dang lilies, dude? I just went that way. I don't know why I'm going there again. Is he in here? Did one of you? Yeah, it was you, the chef guy, I think. Yes! I just got TM36 Sludge Bomb. Oh, shite. Alrighty then. Can anybody even learn that? I don't know. Hopefully. The answer is no. Nobody can learn Sludge Bomb. That's a shame. Alright. Well, uh, those are the only ones that I know I can complete that are close by. Anyways, uh, we need to go uh, somewhere. I don't know where. Uh, I'm assuming... Yeah, Sirius City. That's where we have to go. So we have to fly back to Windvale. And I am going to fly back. I'm not walking back to Windvale. We'll fly back. Using good old Air Dragonite. I think it's the first time I'm using this. Yeah, we fly here and then we go to Route 107 and head up to Sirius City. That's the plan. Dope. We have 33k, dude. That's a lot of k. While we're here, let's go ahead and deposit you. Although I want my amulet coin back. And I'm going to see how well we do with uh, our future E-Gigalith. So I'll take that from you. I will drop you in the PC. And I will take you out. You're also holding an amulet coin. And let's link stone him up. Bada bing, bada boom, dude. There he is. So this thing should be... Yeah. Hot. Defense stats high. High special. Low speed, low attack. That's fine. It knows Ice Beam, Brine, Harden, and Hail. Uh, we'll go ahead and give him his, his Mega Stone. And we'll see how that works out. I want to see, because this... Gigalith, unlike Beedrill, Gigalith does not normally have a Mega. So I'm curious to see what it is and how it looks so we'll go ahead and give that to you and you will become e gigalith or mega e gigalith i should say throw you out front let's we'll see how this works out dude i'm actually ready for it oh my god all right so route 107 it is let's get to it Where do I go to get to Route 10? I don't even know where to go to get to Route 107. It's somewhere over here on the right side. So I'm just... Wait, huh? Did I miss something? Have I missed something? Because they did say to go to Sirius City, right? We were supposed to go to Sirius City, right? Hold on. Wait. Wait. No. Wait. Dude. They were done talking. I'm sure they said we're supposed to go to Syria. Unless we're supposed to meet back up with, uh... Here, let me fly back. I'm gonna cut this, because maybe we're supposed to meet back up with them in the town? Because this the o Route 107 is the only way to get to Sirius. 
We can't get to this side of the map without going through 107. So I'm going to head back to the treetop village. I'll cut here and I'll try to figure out what the heck I'm supposed to be doing right now. So I'll see you in a bit. Okay, we are back and my game is fixed now. So apparently I uh, ended up soft locking myself in a very, very, what I would think is a very, very unlikely thing to happen. So it was kind of because when we last finished the episode, we saved in that uh, the villa of that old guy, the architect man, the watcher guy. We saved in his villa, and I guess that kind of soft locked us for what <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to get into like the technical details of it, but uh, yeah. Just to say, by doing that, we kind of fucked up. But it's fixed now, so we're good. We can now move on to Route 7 and continue on with our lives. So let's go ahead and move on. So this is Route 7, huh? This is what they were trying to lock me out of, eh? I just got five Ultra Balls, dude. That's wild. A Moongus for an Alolan Muck. Don't want a Alolan Muck. If you maybe had an Epoch Muck, then we could start talking, but not, not, I don't even know if there is Epoch. I think there is Epoch Muck. I think there is. Uh, yeah, okay. I was making sure we had our Gigalith. Surely we uh, evolved that on screen, I think. Wish cast for Sawsbuck? Don't think so. Are you gonna heal me? I think I'm already, already probably healed, but it's fine. Ah, there's Spencer. Why does he got a couple goons with him? Ah, oh, Mark, what wonderful timing. Lieutenants? Ah, uh, wait a goddamn second, what are you doing? Hold Mark down so I may do the honors. Hold, wait, I will fight back. What are you holding me down for? Hold on. What the hell? He injects me with a serum? Oh God. Did Kara snitch? Dude, I swear if Kara snitched. I swear if Kara snitched. So how do you feel? Like you're an asshole that just injected me with something that I don't know what the effect is. Nor one that I consented to. Hmm. Still so sassy. That's positive. No. Immediately visible behavior changes noted. Research services will be pleased with the outcome. Just inject me with an experimental serum? You must pardon the aggressive recourse. We were made aware of certain reports of certain non conformance amongst some agents that are recently warped. What? You, Rhea, and Cameron have all received this injection now, and all three of you have been registering similar reactions. So they didn't consent to the injection either, then. Your consent is not an essential prerequisite in these matters. We need to maintain the security of the agency and its correspondence at all times. Incidentally, this is troubling because this doesn't seem to be achieving the intended effect of restoring the memory loss that we had observed since your warping. It is certainly concerning that your memory loss has persisted this long. Lieutenants, We'll need to document in our field notes that the memory loss has still not been restored, so this injection has not achieved the intended effect. It must be a consequence for administering the sanitation protocol. Research services will need to keep working on a resolution, and we'll have to try again later. You ain't trying shit again later, dude! You ain't gonna inject me with something else later? So I should be expecting you to randomly surprise me once again and inject me with another serum when you get it working then. Yes. Dude, I will beat you up. Fantastic. Can't wait. That was sarcasm, by the way. Anyhow, I suppose congratulations are in order on receiving clearance level 4. Okay, so we weren't snitched on. I thought he was doing... I thought he was like... I thought Kara snitched and they were like trying to put us... To, like use us here to like knock us out and throw us in like jail or something. For being a traitor or something. So we weren't snitched. No, you're just trying to, uh, you know fix our memory loss, I guess. Agent Kara brought me up to speed on the developments in the Umbaru jungle. Such a shame that it didn't pan out the way we wanted. Okay. Okay. So she didn't tell him about Aki. Alright. 
Yeah. So anyway, uh, did you have a mission to give me, or did you just want to inject me with an untested serum for kicks? Stop dwelling in the past, Mark. <laughs> Your bitching begins to annoy me. Oh my god. Anyway, with your advanced level of clearance, Mark, I have something to give you. It's a new Pokegear app that you get with clearance level 4. Is it Dive? No, it's a Mudsdale. Is that Strength? No. That is Strength, okay. You can push boulders or other obstacles that stand in your way. And that's all I have for you, Agent Mark. I'll take my leave now. Stay vigilant. Hail Epoch. Uh-huh. Alright, so we weren't snitched on. Good. For a second there, I was thinking Kara... I was right about Kara not being trustworthy, and she snitched the first chance she got. Wasn't the case, though. Seems like we actually can trust her. Okay, cool. Well, I'm just gonna take all these citrus berries. Probably don't know why. I'm not gonna use them, I bet. Honestly, don't even think I'm gonna use these. But I like them. Alright. Well, we're here now. We're on Route 7. On our way to Sirius City. I should probably use a repel if I'm going in this grass. That was an old guy over there. Yo, what level are these wild Pokemon? 56! Oh my god. Oh boy, we are so underleveled. It's fine. I'll just throw Buzz out front. What is this old guy doing here, dude? Hi, old guy. Battle me! Alright, I thought... You're just a random old guy then. Okay. Thought he might have had like a quest for me or something. I guess not. I guess he just likes chilling in the grass. Asking people to battle him. I'm not gonna Mega Evolve Buzz. I didn't even press Z! Wait, what? Hold on, I didn't even Did I accidentally press Z? Oh man. I didn't want to Mega Evolve you. I I wanted to Mega Evolve Ice Cube. I can't now, right? Because it's only one mega per battle. Yeah. Dang it. I haven't seen Ice Cube's Mega Evolution yet. I'm curious. Because, again, unlike Beedrill, Giggle doesn't, doesn't usually have a Mega. At least I don't think. There's no Megas in Gen 8. I think they changed it to where, like, this Giga Max is now. Instead of Megas. So we're not going to be able to find out until our next battle. Dang. Frogadier think he's better than me because he's a higher leveled? I'm bigger than you. You're nothing, kid. Shameful defeat. Yes, you're very shameful. I agree with that. I agree wholeheartedly with your statement. Yo, are they even higher than 56? A 59 Drudagon! Good god. Oh my god, dude. A 58 Unpheasant. Oh boy. So our repel, I'm just trying. I'm just gonna try not to stand in the grass, dude. Cause our repels are not gonna work. Yo, what the heck? I was invisible there for a second. Hey, there's a bridge. Nice. Whoop. More berries. The berries look so colorful, dude. Jeez. Look at those things. Got a fisher guy. Ah! Ah, I feel another flashback coming along. Director Van Basten. Did you call for me? I did. Thank you for coming so quickly, Mark. I have an important task that I can entrust to you and you alone. I'm honored you selected me, Director, uh, but may I ask why me? Don't let it get to your head, Mark. It's merely because Kara and Rhea are already otherwise preoccupied with quelling the uprising. I sent them to Beta Omnicron Sector. Following your successful sanitation protocol, they revealed to me that some of your former comrades from the Argent Revolution had amassed a fairly large base there. They've been sent with a group of our elite agents to quash the rebel camp. It'll deal a severe blow to the rebel uprising. The recent attacks on our facility caught us by surprise, so we need to return in kind. 
Director, let's not forget it was Kara, Ray, and Mark that dealt the damage to the Republicans' efforts to begin with. Be that as it may, Agent Cameron, we're able to successfully capture these three of these rebel leaders and set them straight using the sanitation protocol. While our work on the Mindlink protocol has been damaged substantially, the sanitation protocol seems to still work to perfection, as evidenced by Mark's subservice, subservience. The Rebels' morale will be deeply damaged following the loss of some of their best lieutenants. Hence, why I sent Rhea and Kara to finish the job at Beta Omnicron and prove the protocol still worked. In any case, Mark, you should be aware that I have special plans for you. Special plans? He was a rebel though. How can you give him some, some such privileged assignments? Has my contribution to the agency been completely overlooked? Shut up, Cameron. God. Cameron, be at ease. I have a special place for you in our organization. All will be made clear, but you must continue to trust that I have your best interests at heart. Yeah, Cameron. <laughs> That's There's a plan. <laughs> I don't have to sit here and listen to this bullshit. <laughs> screw you and screw him. Ooh. I'll let him go for now. He will see the reason behind my actions and return to the fold, eventually. Now regarding the special mission I have in mind for you, I'll be sending you as some of our early initiate, initiate, initiates, initiates through a program that warps you back to the 21st century. 21st century? What do we want in the 21st century? Agent Roberts and Agent Spencer will fully brief you when we successfully warp your consciousness to that timeline. However, I will tell you that we are looking to retrieve a weapon. A weapon that will help us assert control and suppress all future dissidents from attempting a counter-offense. Okay, so we're here looking for a weapon. Got it. Is that the fallen one? Is he the weapon? Or is it the weapon? Damn it. The flashbacks are back again. That time it didn't hurt like the last few times though. It also looked like Cameron wasn't one of us. Uh, I guess Rayo wasn't right about him after all. Yeah, it looks like he was always with the agency. At least that's what it looks like. <coughs> speaking of speaking of Cameron, yo asshole! <laughs> ah damn it. Welcome to Sirius City. Doesn't it remind you of home? This place looks dreary as hell. Is that actual pollution I can see in the air? Ah, uh, yes. Pollution. <laughs> the price of progress. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem like they've figured out how to solve the climate crisis in this timeline. Well, whatever. We're just visiting anyway. It's been a while since I saw you last. Let's have a Pokemon battle. Oh, sure thing, dude. Why not? I'm probably going to be underleveled for this, but it's fine. I'll still whoop his butt. 64! Never mind, dude. I'm getting destroyed. Although... I don't know if I should Mega Evolve, dude. I want to see Epoch. I want to see Mega Epoch Gigalith. Giga Potion, that's fine. I want to see Epoch Gigalith, but I feel like Mega Beach will be more useful in this battle. So I gotta do it. I gotta do it. Can we one shot him now that we're Megad? Oh, we can, dude. Look at the power of the Mega. Oh, that's not something we can handle. Oh, that is Ground Fire. I don't think Ice Cube's gonna live very long, but he can at least deal some, hopefully, some nice damage. It's four times effective! Okay, we are nine levels below. But we lived. Let's go, Ice Cube. Still haven't seen your Mega, but we will eventually, hopefully. Toxic Croak. That is fighting poison, so we don't want to go to Aura. We don't want to go to Cole. We don't want to go to Flash. It's either Jack or Buzz. 
This thing's definitely going to be more physical, I would assume. So I think we go to Jack. He's not weak to fighting, and he poison's neutral because he's ground grass. What do we do back? I don't know. Mudshot? Yeah, that's super effective still. Surely that is that does nothing, dude. I need Earthquake, and I need it now. Oh my god. At least give me Dig. <laughs> Do I have... No, I think we have Dig, but one I jack can't learn it for whatever reason, I think. Oh, my God. Okay, let's set up a Sandstorm, at least. I think that'll hopefully help counter the Leftovers. We gotta heal, because another Poison Jab, we're going down. We're going down for the one, two, three... Energy balls or power whip's not going to do much, is it? It's not very effective because he's poison. He's got to keep mud shotting. Hope we get a crit. Maybe. Or unless. He's pretty slow now. He's probably going to go for poison jab again. So. The bug's not very effective, also, I think. Dude. Like maybe we go for a discharge. A gig. Okay, I feel like it's a good thing we didn't switch into uh, Buzz, cause he freaking Giga Potion, dude. Not cool. You are not allowed to do that. Ah, oh, God, dude. What am I gonna do? I think we have to at least try this. He's got, there's no reason he doesn't go for Poison Jab again. Okay. Okay. Uh, what do I do? Discharge? Because these aren't going to be very effective, so i got to go Discharge. Critical. Didn't do too much, though. Oh, you got a Critical as well! Oh my god, dude. This Toxicroak is literally the worst thing to go against our team. You're weak to Poison. You're weak to fighting. You're weak to fighting. You're weak. We have a huge fighting weakness, dude. I think it's a bad thing we brought Ice Cube back. We have a huge fighting weakness. Like, I think we need a flying type because we have a huge... Maybe I will go get the Dodrio. Because we have a huge fighting weakness. Like, we had that... Uh, the Epoch Dodrio. This would, it would really help against this Toxic Rogue. Like, we should be faster, so I think we can just go for Wild Charge and finish him off. Okay. Oh, man, dude. That Toxicroak is like the perfect thing to go against our team. Kingdra. This is Dragon Water. We are eight levels below. We should be fine. There's no there's no reason this thing would have a poison or a steel attack, I don't think. I spoke too soon. For some reason, it knows Flash Cannon. I spoke way too soon, dude. Oh my god. Oh my lord. Way too soon. <laughs> god damn it, dude. Why? The wild charge, if it finish him, it's gonna finish us too. He barely lived, you're lying. Okay, I gotta heal. You know, signal beam, flash cannon. Did it know ice beam? I don't remember. I don't think it knew ice beam. I think it used a water attack the first time. I think. What are the chances this thing knows Ice Beam? God dang it, dude. 
I'm going for Buzz. He's not weak to Flash Cannon. He's not weak to Signal Beam. He's not weak to Ice Beam. I think he's our best bet. Plus, he has great special defense. So I think he's the... I mean, this thing's weak. Unless he potions, we should just be able to take him out with a Discharge. Actually, I'll just go for uh, Bug Buzz. It's neutral. It's fine. Okay. We're fine. We're fine. Torterra. That's... Gr We're fine. We're fine. Bug Buzz. It's Mega Torterra! Yo, what the hell? He's got a civilization on his back, dude. Oh my god, he crit me! Does he turn into does Megator Terra turn into rock type or something? Cause he literally one-shot me with rock slide. Does he turn into a rock type? Cause there's no way that one oh okay. Uh I think we're good here. We have the we have the band. The focus band, so we can't get one shotted. That so uh, that's super effective. You're lying. We li we'll live with one HP. Yo, that didn't even. Okay, I flinched. I flinched. I flinched, dude. Can it, things go any worse for me? Can things get any worse? I flinched. I literally. Oh, thank you for getting recoil damage. Oh my god. Excadrill as ground steel. This should be fine. I just need a heal. I need to see if they sell full restores, dude. I feel like at this point, we're gonna need them. Okay, one eye jack's going down. That's doing too much damage for me to, to try. I can't do anything with. I can't do anything if he's doing that, so... Uh, steel Ground. What is that weak to? We don't go to Aura. I don't think we go to Flash. Yeah, we don't go to Flash. Steel is super effective against Ice Cube. And he's very underleveled. I think we just go to Buzz, dude. I think Buzz is going to be our best bet, maybe. Oh boy. This is rough. This is very rough. That does nothing. We can't do any damage to this thing. And he one shots us with Earthquake. <sighs> you know what? It's fine. I think I. Let's revival herb one eye jack. We, he doesn't one shot us with Iron Head. So now that I just I just needed to get rid of that poison. That poison was annoying. So I think he can take him. Power Whip is neutral because he's steel ground. Much I would mud shot him because it's super effective. But I don't think it's gonna do much. I think the better option is to Power Whip. Okay, that didn't do too much. I was actually hoping for more. Maybe go Energy Ball. Does he have low special defense? Hopefully. I flinched, dude! Can I not flinch every other turn? Oh my god. I am literally flinching in the worst possible moments. Can you flinch? Why aren't you flinching? Dang, dude. You're, you're fucking choking me, dude. You're fucking joking me! Why am I flinching every single time I need to attack? Let me flinch when I don't attack. Jesus Christ, I'm just trying to attack. It's my turn. Damn. It's my turn to attack. Dude, mom said to take turns. Ugh. He's gonna just run out of iron heads by the time we're done with this, dude. One more. 
I need one more. Give me one more. Oh, he crit me. Okay. Iron Head has like 15 PP. You're telling me he hasn't used 15 by now. Don't crit. I win! Please tell me that's your last Mon. Please. I did it. Okay. Bullshit. Bloody hell, I lost again? Anyway, Cameron, I have a question for you. Shoot. Can you tell me who we were back home, that is? In our own home timeline, you know? Before our consciousnesses got warped here. Memory loss still acting up, eh? Yeah, I ran into Spencer earlier and he went and injected me with some sort of compliance serum. Didn't have any effect. You too, huh? Yeah, that was kind of a dick move. <laughs> Well, about your question, I was a rising star in the agency and got sent to this timeline to accompany you and Rhea. I was told I had to babysit you two to make sure you didn't move out of line. Wait, do you have clearance level four? Yes. Okay, good. I thought I had to let the cat out of the bag. What do you mean babysit Rhea and I? Man, I didn't even want you guys to do it. They didn't fully trust you guys because you two were rebels that were like re-socialized re or some crap like that. The entire assignment was beneath me anyway. I'm doing my own thing here. The benefit of being warped to this timeline is I don't have that Republican big brother monitoring my every step back home. They're like an overbearing mother. Good grief. I had had enough. I wanted some freedom, and coming to this timeline meant I could actually do stuff without getting having to get approval from the agency for every damn thing I did. Yeah, I remember that part. They seem to have certain trust issues. Ha, huh, tell me about it. Keep this between us. But if I can stay in this timeline, <laughs> I'd... He did not just say the G word. I'm not repeating it. I'd be good with that. The agency are full of a bunch of cronies anyway. There was no moving up in that organization for me. Next step for me was to start doing more political bullshit. Like some of the things that the Republicans were doing were kind of dark, even by my standard. I was already part of the elite ruling class, so it didn't bother me. And as long as I kept getting paid, who cares, right? I realized I wouldn't have been able to deal with that. I much prefer field work. I'm a free spirit, you know? Anyway, I've said enough. What are you doing here in Sirius? I'm here to see the mayor. Alright, uh, good luck with that. You'll probably find her in City Hall. Later. Later indeed. Dude, that battle took like 15 minutes. Good god. Anyway, uh, I guess we're going to go ahead and end this episode off here. So, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more. It's been Con Artist. Uh, next time, we'll explore Sirius City. Maybe meet up with the mayor. Depends on how long it takes us to explore this place. And yeah, so thanks for watching again, and peace out.